Philip Taylor, International Affairs Editor, joins me now. Philip, uh, Gérard Dalmanin making a, a series, announcing a series of measures. Are today's announcement of arrests and the possible banning of dozens of uh, Muslim associations uh, unprecedented? Well, let's say they're not what would usually happen in this kind of terrorist um, attack in France. Uh, this is more like a two-pronged attack, if you like, by the government. On the one hand, you have this investigation into who was responsible. We know that it was an 18-year-old born in Moscow of Chechen origin who just recently been given a 10-year residency permit here in France, who came into the country as a refugee. Uh, we don't know exactly what his link is yet with the school where there was a, he was a pupil there. It appears that he wasn't. Um, but he was unknown uh, to the uh, uh, authorities in France of being someone who was linked to uh, Muslim fundamentalist terrorist acts. So the only thing he was known for was uh, damaging public property. So that's the first investigation into him and his family who are now uh, under arrest, his parents, his grandparents and his brother. There are also a couple of other people linked to this investigation who are also uh, being questioned by uh, the police. And they're also interested in talking to another man who's called Abdel Hakim Sefrawi, who's a radical, uh, self-declared imam who is known to have uh, given his support to the father of a pupil uh, who was shown these caricatures of Mohammed by uh, the teacher, uh, Samuel Patti. And he was the one who called for this fatwa for the teacher to be beheaded. So on that front, we know that the police are investigating what happened. But there's a much wider net that's being cast out to clamp down on all uh, fundamentalist activity in France. Those who, for example, there have been 80 messages posted on social media which have congratulated the attacker or backed the action or chastised the teacher, welcoming his beheading. All of those are being investigated by uh, the French authorities. And there is another aspect also that uh, Gérard Dalmanin has uh, announced today, and that is uh, an investigation into many associations in France. Uh, he said 51 are being investigated, and some of those are going to be officially closed down after their cases are examined in the Council of Ministers. Philip, under a 1905 uh, law, politics and religion are separated in France. Is this law still relevant today? Well, the, the big problem in France, Claire, is that this law is, is now 115 years old, and many say it's too out of date. It was brought in to separate the state and the church, the Catholic church at the time, for, having, for playing an important role in the running of the country. Uh, since then, France now has uh, a population of it's estimated about six million Muslims. And uh, a, a lot of uh, observers are saying that uh, the Muslim faith, when it becomes radicalized, is incompatible with French values. And uh, the big question here is just how far does the French state go in letting these values become the norm in France for sectors of society? And just when does the state intervene to stop that from happening? And the big underlying issue here is where does the state become accused of racism towards Muslims, saying you can't do this and you can't do that because that doesn't conform with French, the way the French state operates, even though this is under an, a law which is now 115 years old. And many are saying that law is out of date, it needs to be overhauled, and there needs to be a much more strong approach to dealing with uh, the way that hardline Muslim groups are trying to uh, introduce legislation into France that politicians really don't know how to deal with. Uh, and that is why I think the Interior Minister is trying to show this time round, after having been criticised, and many leaders over the past 40 years in France have been criticised for, for not having a much stronger uh, hand when it comes to dealing uh, with uh, uh, Islamic uh, fundamentalist activity in France, and maybe the execution of this teacher will make or mark a change in that mentality and maybe a change in the way the government handles the situation. All right, thank you for your analysis, Philip.